What's up guys, it's Travis and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, the YouTube room is finally, finally getting started. We got the carpet in, I got some lighting in here. I got a lot to do back here still, but I'm very excited for what's about to come. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about cryptocurrency. And as you guys know, I'm a huge advocate for Bitcoin. But in today's video, we're gonna actually be talking about smaller coins and these coins are called altcoins. And so in today's video, I'm actually going to be talking about this new network. It's called the Akash Network. So if you guys get value from today's video, then please make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and make sure to subscribe if you guys want to see more content like this in the future. Let's get right into it. So if you guys are familiar with the cryptocurrency market at all, um, you're familiar with CoinGecko. And so that's what I currently am using to look at coins. Um, I have a list of, let's see, so I have a list of my portfolio of what I'm currently interested in, just kind of watching and stuff. I'm not invested in all of these, um, actually very few of them. Uh, I just like to have this up of the coins that I'm currently interested in. So just, just to kind of keep my eye on them, see how they're doing. Um, but like I said, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Akash Network. And that's gonna be this one. So I'm gonna click on this. And it's going to take me to their homepage on CoinGecko. It shows you right here the price of Akash right now is at $1.71. Um, the market cap is at $55 million. Circulating supply, max supply. And it just gives you a lot of information. It shows you the charts. And um, just a quick disclaimer, I've been invested in Akash since $0.72. Cents. So I've been in it for a little while, like I said, uh, about a week and a half. And um, I'm gonna be holding on to this one for the long term, um, just because I see so much opportunity with this. Um, it, right now it's at a $55 million market cap. It's trying to reach a market cap in the billions. Um, and I believe it could do that. So that's a 20X from here, you could potentially 20x your investment portfolio. Like I said, this is not financial advice. This is just something that I'm currently looking into. I've done a lot of research on it and this is something that I'm excited about. So um, yeah, so this is the chart. This is just kind of showing you where it's at um, and its history and things like that. Let's take a look at the actual website. So this right now is what the website looks like. It's really, really cool actually. I, I like how they have this um, ebb and flow in the background. It just looks very fluid and I think that's the whole point of what they're trying to do here. So Akash is the world's first decentralized cloud computing marketplace. So why the Akash dCloud? Akash dCloud is faster, better, and lower cost cloud built for DeFi, which is decentralized projects and high growth companies, providing unprecedented scale flexibility in price performance, 10 times lower in cost. Our serverless computing platform is compatible with all cloud providers and all applications. So this is primarily the biggest reason for why Akash is growing at such an exponential rate. It's supply and demand and competition with other uh, cloud computing processors. So you can see right here, Amazon Web Services are four cents. Um, Google Cloud is three cents. And Microsoft Azure is five cents. And so Akash is providing, I mean, comparing it just to the Amazon, that's 10 times less in fees than what Amazon is charging, and Google is charging, or Microsoft Azure are charging. And so Akash is really trying to break up the monopolies by offering a decentralized way of processing power for their network. This kind of just talks about more of what the token is, um, the partners behind them. Uh, it's really cool. They actually came out with this thing called a super mini. You don't need this in order to process. I'm actually already on this wait list and pretty much they just show you how it works. Um, you plug it in, it offers computing power to the network, and then you can earn passive income um, by doing so. This is a really cool um, product that I'm excited to get my hands on. It just kind of shows you the features. NVIDIA is actually is a pretty big company now. Um, 
they're doing a lot of really cool things. So it's cool that they're using some of their products. So this is really where you get into the meat and potatoes of what a project is and what they're trying to do. And this is called the white papers. So the cloud infrastructure is a 32.4 billion dollar industry and it's predicted to reach 210 billion dollars by the year 2022. By 2021, 94% of all internet applications and compute instances are expected to be processed by cloud service providers, with only 6% processed by traditional data centers. The primary driver for this growth is poor utilization rates of IT resources provisioned. So with 8.4 million data centers globally, an estimated 96% of server capacity underutilized and accelerated global demand for cloud computing. So right now, the three leading cloud service providers are Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, and Microsoft Azure. And they pretty much dominate the cloud computing marketplace with 71% of market share. This figure is expected to increase. These providers are complicated, inflexible, restrictive, and come at a high recurring cost with vendor lock-in agreements. So they're pretty much locking in their customers at these rates. It's pretty costly for these people to, to work with them. And so what Akash is essentially doing is they're leveraging the blockchain and introduces a decentralization and transparency into the industry currently controlled by monopolies, the Amazon, Microsoft, we were just talking about. The result is that the cloud computing becomes a commodity fueled by a competitive free market available and accessible anywhere in the world at a fraction of current costs. So it's really interesting that the Akash network is actually utilizing this decentralization in order to undercut a lot of these centralized organizations that like we were just talking about before, um, they're not cost effective, they're inflexible, they're restrictive, and they're complicated. And this just makes it so much easier and less expensive. And so of course, companies are gonna wanna start using this. Akash is the world's first and only super cloud for serverless computing, enabling anyone with a computer to become a cloud provider by offering their unused compute cycles in a safe and frictionless marketplace. So that is really, really neat. I really like what they're doing here. All right, so this is where it gets really interesting because as investors, we buy into the Akash token like we were talking about before. It's only at $1.70 and I believe it's gonna go to 25 to $26 at least. Um, that's just my opinion, but I think that it's very undervalued. And so we're actually gonna get into more of what the token does and why it's valuable. So AKT is the native token of the Akash network. The core utility of AKT acts as a staking mechanism to secure the network and normalize compute prices for the marketplace auction. So essentially what you're doing is you're staking or you're putting your tokens onto the network kind of like you would put your money into a savings account in order to earn interest in order to validate the network. Um, the amount of the Akash token staked towards a validator defines the frequency by which the validator may process a new block. So the more Akash tokens that you have on these validators, the faster you can make your passive income. Essentially, it's how you're being rewarded. So that's pretty much how the Akash token works. And then it kind of gives you different use cases of how um, you can apply it to the Akash network. So there's four different ways you can do that. There's the validator, the delegator, the provider, and the tenant. So the first one, the validator, secures the Akash network. And it does this by validating and relaying transactions, proposing, verifying, and finalizing blocks. There will be a limited set of validators, initially 64, and this is just to make sure that the network is secure and um, remain, it, it keeps that high standard of automated signing and infrastructure. So delegators are holders of the Akash token and use some or all of their tokens to secure the Akash network. In return, the delegators earn passive income in order to complete these blocks. So as investors, we care a lot about the rewards. Um, so users of the Akash token stake their token 
to subsidize operating and capital expenditures. Stakers are rewarded proportional to the amount of tokens staked. So the more tokens that you have and you're staking or investing on the network, you're actually making more money for doing so. So you're being incentivized to put more money in and by putting more money in, you're being rewarded by um, making more money passively, if that makes sense. Uh, fees on the Akash network can be settled using multitude of currencies. So it's not just limited to the Akash token themselves, but if you have the Akash token and you're doing so, then you can actually create income that way. And that's part of the incentive for buying and holding the Akash token compared to if you just use other currencies. And I think that's really smart because if you're only allowing one currency to be used on the network, then I think you're really cutting away from the utility that the network could provide to other people that wanted to use it. Um, depending on where they're at in the world um, to really have access to that network no matter what kind of currency that they're using I think is very valuable um, but it's also incentivizing to us as token holders to continue to hold and stake our tokens on the network I truly expect to see the Akash tokens value go from anywhere between 20 to 30 dollars I'm looking at the total value of the network and sitting at only 50 million dollars compared to these companies that are in the billions of dollars we really have a lot of room to grow, seeing firsthand that we're really able to undercut these companies in production costs. I think that's gonna reward all of us early adopters in this marketplace to really take advantage of that. So that's all I got for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you got some sort of value from today's video. If you did, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe if you guys wanna see more content like this in the future. Let me know if there's any other projects that you guys want me to break down for you guys and explain to you why or why not I see value in those companies. I'm super excited for the Akash Network, what they're trying to do, what they're trying to accomplish. They're really going to be and are proving to be a huge disruptor of the space. And I'm really, really excited to see what's gonna be happening in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to be seeing you guys in the upcoming episode. Take it easy guys.